Hello, Happiness Abounder, and welcome back. Today, I want to continue our chat all about how to build a better connection with your intuition and or your higher power. So other episodes in this theme week have been all about being still as well as journaling and getting to know yourself. Today's episode, I want to talk about how you can connect to your higher power. And I can't speak for everyone, but something like praying doesn't really work for me. And I know that's a little controversial, but hear me out. It doesn't really work for me because it's not a conversation. It's me talking at something or someone or whatever you believe versus getting a conversation where it is like that intuitive knowing, understanding, paying attention, and getting answers versus just talking at. So instead of praying, I want to share a few different things that you may be able to do to continue that conversation to rebuild or to connect with what you may deem as your higher power. Now here's the second piece of this. If you do not believe in a higher power, no worries. This will also work for your intuition. So that said, the very first thing that I love to do is to write letters. And in fact, I think I had a theme week back in March all about writing letters. It may have been April, but a theme week all about writing letters. And in this case, writing a letter to your higher power can have very powerful, a very powerful impact into that connection. So that said, here's how you do it. Very specific yet simple instructions. So first and foremost, you're going to get a piece of paper or you're going to type. Now, interestingly enough, usually I'm a write it out on paper because I like to get things out of my brain, down my body, through my hand and out on paper so it feels a little bit more organized. However, in the case of when I am writing letters and I'm doing for I'm working on it for responses back, that is when I like to type. Primarily because I like to close my eyes and listen. And that's hard to do. It's hard to close your eyes and write and have it be legible and not all over the paper at the same time. So I tend to type for this one, for these kind of letters. So I'm gonna pull out your piece of paper or type on your computer a blank sheet and you're going to write dear and then whatever insert whatever name you have for your higher power. Now, if you don't believe in a higher power you and you do believe in intuition, you can write dear intuition. You can do dear insert your name intuition. So in my case, dear Taylor's intuition or if you're just really uncomfortable with either of those, but you'd like to explore this idea, this technique, you could say, dear, whatever it is that you feel like has some authority. So in that case, maybe it's dear, dear rock or dear mountain or something that's kind of an unbiased point of truth and strength. So that said, dear, insert your higher power here, comma, enter and then start writing and just do a flow, a stream of consciousness. Now here's the big thing with this. I think that we don't want to upset our higher power. So if you are mad or you are upset about something happening in your life and you're like, well, I can't really write that to my higher power because I don't want to offend them because I know there's probably some bigger plan, but I'm really frustrated right now. Don't fall into that trap. Use this as an opportunity for a real, honest, deep conversation, which means sharing and expressing how you're feeling about things. If you're mad, be mad. If you are sad, be sad. Don't sugarcoat this letter. Get it all out. Then when you are done, you're going to write love, then your name. Hit enter two times, three times, new sheet, whatever works for you flip over the piece of paper and then write dear your name and then write or type out every stream of conscious thought that comes to your mind as though it is from your higher power, your intuition, that point of authority and trust and truth. Okay. Then when you feel like you've put everything out there, you're going to write love and then the name of your higher power, your intuition, etc. The thought here is, is that we're finally getting it all out there. We're finally having a real, honest, truthful communication. 
but it, communication is two ways. So getting the letter response back is extremely helpful. Now here's the other kicker. Do not do these in two separate time frames. So don't write your letter and then two days later be like, oh, I want to get my response back now and then sit down and try to get your response. Conversation is you and me talking real time versus you and me talking via Facebook Messenger with several days delay or email or even text, right? So if a real conversation between individuals happens, those deep, meaningful connections happen in one-on-one -on -one conversations in real time, you want to do the same thing with this letter. So make sure when you do this, you set aside an ample amount of time, especially for this first one. The more that you do this, the less time you'll need because the conversation's continuing, right? It's kind of like when you haven't seen a friend for a really long time and you go for lunch and you end up talking for four hours, whereas someone who you see every day or you talk with very regularly, maybe weekly, you don't have to have as much time of catch up because you already know what's happening. So first one, make sure you set aside an ample amount of time for yourself to write and receive your letters from your higher power. Now, this exercise has been a big game changer for me on building that connection. Because again, like I mentioned, praying has never really worked for me. It's not something that's connected and resonated for me. Now, if it does for you, that's fine. I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong. Just saying here is another option, another way to potentially connect with your higher power. Now, I said I'd give you a few, so here is a second thing. You can talk out loud. I tend to like to do it in my car when I'm alone, but talk out loud to your higher power. And then stop and listen. Actively listen. And see what comes to your mind. See what that conversation is back and forth. As simple as that. Set aside enough time. Do it while you're not going to be distracted. So the kids or the pets aren't coming in and out of the room and nudging your arm as you're trying to type or you're trying to write. Do it in a space where you can close your eyes, listen deeply, and have a stream of consciousness and actually have that communication with your higher power. It is an awesome experience. Whether you're doing it vocally and talking in the car or you're talking back and forth through letter writing, it can be an incredible experience to build that connection. Now, again, if you do not believe in a higher power, I probably have already lost you on this episode, but if you are still here, writing to your intuition acts the same way, right? So to your intuition and or saying, intuition, I'm mad right now because as you're in the car and then listening to what you get back be very powerful, very impactful as to build your intuition or your higher power connection and to really experience that form of what I'm going to call spiritual self care and that sense of direction in your life that maybe you've been missing, but you haven't known how to rebuild or even begin to build that connection. So if that is the case, I hope that this episode and frankly, this theme week has helped. If it has, I would love to hear from you. You can find me at happinessabound.com, happinessabound blog on Facebook, and happiness underscore abound on Instagram. Now, here's one thing, if you, especially if you're doing the vocal conversation in your car, if you start getting negative things and negative thoughts coming to you, and you're putting yourself down saying you're not worthy, you're not good enough, or anything like that, I really want to encourage you to check out my Declarations for Happiness class. In it, I share three techniques on how you can build a direction for your life and have that clarity, how you can combat those negative thoughts like you're not good enough so that you can step into your true power. So we're combating that negativity and that negative inner voice. And then the last one is a coping declaration. So when things feel really hard, you are still empowered to keep on going. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, again, you can reach out and ask me any additional questions or you can go straight to happinessabound.com click on courses and select declarations for happiness. I hope to see you there in the online class. So that said, have a wonderful day. I hope that you enjoy writing your letters or having your conversations. And above everything else, remember, you are capable of happiness abound. <laughs>